Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll show you how to make this masterpiece all in Blender. Okay, so first off, delete everything. Now add a sphere and shade it smooth. Now go to Particle System Properties tab and click the plus icon to add the particle system to the sphere. Leave it on emitter and increase the lifetime of particles to 250. Okay, so now go down and open Render tab, and in the drop-down menu, select Render as Path. Further down in Viewport Display tab, increase the strand steps to 6 in this case. And finally, in the Field Weights tab, turn the gravity off. Now hit Spacebar Play the animation. The particles are emitting normally without any external force and following a straight path. So add a turbulence force field and increase its strength to 5 in this case. And now when you play the animation, you can see the randomness of particles. Okay, so now select the sphere and go to the Particle System Properties tab, and in the cache, hit the Bake button. After the bake is done, you can see the strands coming out of the sphere. How cool is that? Now select the sphere and go to the Modifiers tab and click Convert to Mesh. Now the strands are a separate object. Okay, so now select the strands and hit right-click and Convert to Curve. Now go to the Curved Properties tab, and under the Geometry tab, increase the depth to give it some volume. Increase the resolution and shade it smooth. Also check the box fill caps to close the geometry at the end of the strands. Okay, so now add a Bezier curve. Again, select the strands and in the taper object select the Bezier curve. Yeah, now you can see the strands are thick at the starting and thin at the end. You can further more edit the Bezier curve to get your desired effect. After checking everything is fine, again select the strand object and come to the Curve Properties tab, and under Geometry go down and you can see a Start and End Mapping tab, open it and you can see you can animate the end value to get this generating effect. Okay, so this is really cool. You can also add keyframes on this end property to get a generating effect. Now hit the space bar to see your awesome generating effect. And with that, we are now done with the modeling phase. Okay, so now it's time to give our object some material. Go to the Shading tab and click New to add a basic material. Press Shift-A and type Noise Texture to add a Noise Texture node. And now the very important part, connect the color of the Noise Texture to the base color of our principal BSDF node. Now you can barely see some colors on our object. So press Shift-A and in the Color tab, select Hue Saturation node. Increase the saturation value all the way up to 2. Select the HU Saturation node and press Shift-D to duplicate it many times to get more saturated color. Okay, so we got our base color. Also connect this node to the Emission in the Color tab and increase the strength to around 5. Also in the Coat section, crank up the value to the max so that you can still see your object's details. Make sure you have selected EEVE as your render engine and in the Render Properties check Bloom option and increase the intensity according to your liking. Now you can see the bloom effect on our object. Come to the Layout tab and switch the view to Render Mode. Now click on the World tab and change the color to Full Black. Maybe I should increase the bloom intensity some more. Okay, now add a camera and move to a location you want to see your render from, and then press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to snap your active camera to your current view. Now up there, click this little box and select 3D Cursor. Now select your camera and try to rotate it on the Z-axis, and you can see it is rotating around the 3D cursor. Okay, so now animate your camera according to your liking. I am going for a simple rotation. You can also change the focal length of your camera according to you. Okay, so now our animation part is also done. But as you can see, we don't have any sky in the background, so we will make a night sky. So again, go to the Shading tab and now select World Option. To make stars now, I will add a Voronoi texture and connect the distance to the color. Now add a color ramp node between the nodes and adjust the handles until they make white circle. And now increase the scale value in the Voronoi node and you can see the stars. But they are all over the space and we want some randomness to make it look real. So we'll add a mix color node here. Also add a noise texture node and connect the factor to the factor of mix color and change the color of B socket to full black. If you still can't see anything, add a color ramp node between the noise texture and mix color, and now when you adjust the white handle, you can see some area with stars disappears, and it looks natural. 
That's the whole setup of our night sky, and now you can tweak different settings to get different results. And with that, our sky part is also complete. Come to the Layout tab, and now play the animation, and look how awesome is this looking, right? Press F12 to render a frame and see how the final render is going to look like. Oh, turn off the render for the emitter object and render again. Okay, so now everything is done, and but this still looks a little bit off. So we'll do some compositing to add some additional effects. Come to the Compositing tab and check the box Use Nodes. Click on the Render Layer node and Control shift click to add a Viewer node and now you can see what you're doing. Shift right click drag to connect the two wires with a dot. Now add a Glare node, leave it as Streaks, and increase to High. Now duplicate the same node and add and this time change it to Fog Glow. Now add the Lens Distortion node and increase the distortion and dispersion values to 0.1 each and check the box fit. But now when you render you can see the final image gets bigger due to the Lens Distortion node, so select the camera and decrease the focal length even more to around 20. And now hit F12 to see the render frame. Yeah, it's looking cool now, I mean so much cool. Also, you can go to the Strands Object Curve Properties tab and under Geometry, animate the start value also to make your strands disappear at the end. Watch the video to see how I did it. It's done, guys. In this video, I taught you how to make a cool generating effect by particle system and curve properties, then how to texture your model, then how to make a procedural night sky, and also animation and compositing at the end. I think this is so much information for you to gain, and I hope you liked the video. So please support me by subscribing and sharing the video. And also check out other videos on my channel. Thank you. Peace.